Well, I just got back to my million dollar view. I was at the uh, uh, car lot this morning. I watched uh, Shane rep some of our vehicles. And the good news is uh, Shane goes after a 50% um, closing ratio when he goes to the auction. And, and he hit 50% um, selling his cars today. And, uh, I, I, you know, I guess I'm going to... I'm going to brag a little bit about him because he's uh, he's an amazing uh, young man, or well, I'm going to say middle-aged man now. Uh, you know, he talks to other people at the uh, office, and and it's always, you know, my dad says this, my dad says this, and my dad's right about this, my dad. So I'm extremely flattered by that, but. Uh, no, he, he does a lot. He adds a lot of his own flair and personality um, to this business, and, and he um, is great at it because he, he has such a passion for it. Uh, I, I want to go over a couple of things uh, today. Uh, I got a letter handed to me by one of our other wholesalers this morning. Uh, Kevin and uh, it was a heart warming uh, letter uh, rather than, than just a uh, digital it, it was typed uh, and signed along with uh, her telephone number and Leslie I have your uh, telephone number back at the office I'm sorry I, uh, I will call you uh, tomorrow as I'll be back in the office for a little bit before I head back up here and enjoy my million dollar view as I call it. Uh, but anyway, I do want you to know uh, the first thing that I want to talk about on the video, of course, is Leslie to let you know that uh, I have your number, I'll be contacting you as long as you're willing to work out of Tennessee uh, so that we don't have to put our license at risk, uh, you'll find out that I'll bend over backwards to help you. Uh, there's two things that you may think uh, that don't phase me at all. The fact that you're 57, I'm 66, so uh, age doesn't really matter to me. Uh, the fact that you're a lady, uh, one of my favorite people that I work with in this program is a uh, lady, and, and she is just a fireball. Um, some of you have seen her on some of my other videos her name is um, Michela and so uh, and she's just absolutely great I've worked with a lot uh, I wouldn't say a lot but some ladies in this field and and, and uh, they they do very well when they want to and and Shay uh, does very well so the fact that you're 57 a lady uh, all that means is you've got other opportunities that some don't uh, that's the first thing that I want to say and then I want to address um, uh, Chevy Sucks. Uh, uh, he mentioned the other day in a comment about a beef uh, that I had with somebody else here on uh, YouTube. And a lot of you know about that so-called beef. And the first off, I want to address that. I don't have a beef with any person uh, at all. Uh, I don't really care what any person does. Now my beef is with a person's um, uh, attitude, uh, with a person's, uh, I, I don't care for hoax. Uh, you know, this business is not a hoax business. This is a business that uh, you're gonna get into. Uh, it's gonna pay you well if you work at it. And there are those in there that claim to be so-called uh, uh, great masters at it. Uh, what they're masters at is hoaxing you out of your money. Um, you know, because there's so many instincts, and the only way to the only way to uh, evolve in this business is from experience. I don't care myself or anybody else that's out there that is telling you they know all the secrets uh, that you need to know. Uh, uh, that's an absolute lie. This business is uh, so much around instincts. I've said it before. Uh, it's, a, it's a sixth sense. It's seasonal. Uh, and, and taking that into consideration, I had a little uh, 
meeting this morning with some of our wholesalers and we are in if there is a lean time uh, in this business it's right now and the reason for that is schools out uh, it's summer it's vacation time it's July the fourth time a lot of holidays a lot of time off and people out uh, doing one thing or another and spending all their money a, a car that they're going to buy right now is just an absolute have to case uh, maybe one broke down and they're still out there we still uh, sell a few cars but make no mistake uh, I get a lot of people to say ask me about Christmas time being slow uh, no not compared to really uh, May June and July if I had to say that there's slow times in this business it's May June July a lot of vacation of the people that are uh, normally buying cars or figuring out a way to get to the beach, uh, spend their money, you know, two or three hundred dollars a night or at a hotel or a, a quick way to get to the beach. And, and this business, I wouldn't say it suffers, uh, but we do cut back. We're still able to, to pay the bills, obviously, still able to put back some money, uh, but the lean times are going to be in, in these summer months when school's out. Now in August, you can look for it to come back up because the kids are getting ready to go to school the parents don't want to shuttle them to school so if they're of age they're going to put them in a car if they're younger children they're going to put them in an older brother and sister's car so in august we do see uh some good times because of the circumstances but make no mistake the people that that come out here and tell you that they are geniuses at this business and I'm, I, this is no beef, so I'm not pointing this out to one single person. If I stand up and tell you that I'm a genius in this business, it's a freaking lie, okay? I'm experienced in this business, but I learn something every day. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll go into the, uh, the lot and uh, I'll buy a certain kind of car or I buy heavy. And the reason that I buy heavy, uh, I only buy... Uh, and this is pointed out by some of the other people that I don't even own my dealership. Uh, I don't. I've made that no secret. I don't own a dealership. Have I owned dealerships? Yes, but I don't want to own a dealership. I'm operating just like I tell you that you can operate. Uh, license under a licensed dealer. Let him file all the reports. Let him pay all the taxes. Let him take all the risks for you. That's what I do. Now, I watch my son because I've got that experience. I, I make sure that he doesn't take unnecessary risk. As a matter of fact, he stays mad at me, not stays mad at me, but I'm too protective of him in his dealership uh, because I don't want him to take certain risk. Uh, so that's it. You don't have to own a dealership uh, to, to be successful. Uh, Leslie, if you're willing to work out of Tennessee, if you got family to stay with in Tennessee, and you want to come to work with us, come on, uh, no problem. We will give it a try uh, for a little bit and see how it works. Uh, as long as you follow like the rest of the people here, uh, follow the program, uh, we would love to have you. We'd love to help you, anything that we can do for you. Um, so really, that's uh, what I want to say in this session. Um, we had a great day at the auction. Uh, I am pushing the guys now. Uh, I guess pushing is not a right, right word, but uh, right now is the time to uh, stock some cheaper inventory. Detail it if you can. And my son just pointed out uh, uh, earlier today, he said, you know, and, you know Dad says uh, you got to have your cars detailed, clean, and ready to go at the auction. And, and you know, he saw evidence of that uh, today. Uh, we got very, very close on a couple of cars that we actually bought at auction uh, for, uh, the, and we just had some bad luck with it. We bought a 06 Mountaineer, and he bought it for $1,800. And today, at auction, because it was clean, uh, it brought $3,800 at auction. So, 
uh, buying at one auction and uh, detailing it out. Now, we would have sold the car, because uh, that sounds like a huge profit, 1800 to 38 for going to auctions. Problem is, the damn transmission went out on the car, and I had to spend $1,100 uh, having the transmission worked on. So we went from 1800 to uh, what? Uh, let's see, 1800 28 2900 bucks, and we got 38 offer for it. So we still had a thousand dollar profit made where he bought it at one auction and we cleaned it up. Uh, he done most of the detail on it. I put a transmission on it in it, and but we still had a $800 profit. And he says, no, if anybody's going to retail this car, I'm going to retail this car. So he's very astute in what he wants to do. And uh, uh, I'm very proud of him for that. So with that being said, I wish you all a wonderful day. I'm going to get on with my sunbathing, and I'll show you my yacht. I'm going to get off, but we talk about how much money that people make. Uh, this is my new yacht uh, here. Uh, on my my luxury trailer here uh, this is a paddle boat um, you know I, I like to in the afternoon I'm out here and I'm up here for the view I'm not up here for you know to brag about having the money and stuff I'm at a campsite it cost me 25 bucks a night uh, you know my paddle boat I'll pour me a glass of cheap wine tonight around six o'clock and uh, put my paddle boat uh, in a little cove here and I'll cruise along so uh, I, I save a lot of money I don't blow a lot of money and and let me tell you something uh, if you create any wealth that's what you will do uh, it's not what you can spend it's not uh, you can enjoy a, a great view uh, without living in a uh, an expensive house uh, an expensive apartment with a view or anything like that anyway with that being said Again, like I said, have a great day, and Leslie, I hope to see you soon.